Hi, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be doing a Duramax XP 13,000 EH. Uh, this is the dual fuel hybrid Elite Series. Uh, it has the 20 horsepower, uh, 500 cc engine in it. Uh, we're going to show you the natural gas steps for it. And then with our kit, you can also run propane uh, by using the high pressure regulator with our setup. Um, that is just in case this propane system ever fails um, because I have not been able to locate any of these regulators. I get calls on them all the time, but we just can't seem to purchase them. So we'll go ahead and get started and we'll show you how that's done. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get rid of what we have to on the back of the air cleaner. You're gonna go ahead and remove your tube here. Just kind of tuck that in the back. Um, there's a vibration bracket bolt back here. We're going to go ahead and remove that. And that will allow us to be able to pull it off once we get out front. So go ahead and get that off. And then we'll show you the next step. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and remove our cover here. So screw the bottom here. And it just unpops off from the top. Go ahead and remove your filter. Now behind the filter, there's this little plastic cover keeps you from sucking your air cleaner in. Go ahead and pull that off. Um, we're gonna go ahead and remove the two nuts holding on the back of the air cleaner here. Get them off there. And we got one more here. Go ahead and remove our back cover. And there's a little hose down here. You don't have to worry about disconnecting that because of what we're doing. And we'll show you the next steps here. Okay, now when we install our slim adapter on here, obviously our studs are not gonna be long enough to accept this. So what we do is we're just gonna get a pair, make sure you don't gnarl up your threads. Just push your carburetor back um, as far as you can to it. Get your vice grips up here. You're gonna lock down on them and just turn them out until you get enough clearance to be able to accept this and to be able to put your cover back on with uh, you to have enough uh, space there. So I found out that I backed them out about four complete turns. That gives me enough room. There's still enough meat back in there for your stability. And we'll go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and install our slim adapter, uh, put their existing gasket back on slide our adapter on we will supply you with a gasket put that on go ahead and get this set back up on there now if you notice i got room to be able to put these back on so we'll go ahead and get these set up on here and tighten down Okay, we'll go ahead and lock these down then. Go ahead and get our plastic cover back in here. Get our air cleaner back in. Get our cover back on. And really that step was as easy as that. I mean, it didn't take long at all. Go ahead and get that. And we will show you the next step. Okay. okay. Now that we got the front installed there, go ahead and get our hose back and the air cleaner here. All right, there we go. Now, again, like I was telling you, because of the thickness of this, we brought it away from the vibration bracket. So we'll give you a spacer to go in between there. So go ahead and get your spacer behind there. And I found this to be a little tricky back here because it's not exactly on. So I've had to move the air cleaner over a little bit, push the bracket back just to give me enough to get on there. Uh, 
Okay. Got it. Now we'll go ahead and tighten that down. It pop back out on me there. There we go. There's not much room here. Okay, go ahead and tighten that down and we'll show you the next step, sir. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and get our regulator assembly mounted here. Now, I've looked over a few different spots on this. Uh, really, the best spot is right here. It gives you close access to being able to hook up to the adapter. So what we're going to do is go ahead and come over from the side of the frame, and we're going to mark an inch and three quarter. Okay. And we're kind of just going halfway up between this frame here on the bar. And then from this point, we're going to come over, go mark over five and three quarters of an inch. Okay, so let's just make sure we got five and three quarter there. Okay, and we'll make our marks. We'll show you the next step. Okay, now that we've made our marks on there, what we're going to do is go ahead and I just take a punch. This way your drill bit doesn't wobble on you. Go ahead and make your mark. Make sure you don't punch her all the way through. The gas tank is back here. Just be careful. Still can be a little stubborn. Go ahead and keep drilling this one. This one drilled out. All right, we'll clean them up and get to our next step. Okay, now that we got our holes all drilled out, we'll go ahead and get our regulator assembly mounted. We'll supply you all the hardware. This will all pre uh, preset for you. We'll get everything plumbed for you. You don't have to worry about that. Go ahead and get those through. And we'll get our flat washer here. Our lock washer. Not. Same for this side here. A little tighter over on this side. Okay, and we'll get our nut on. All right, and we'll go ahead and lock these down. That step okay, now that we've got that mounted, what we're going to do is go ahead and get our hose installed on here. And we'll mount this down to our adapter. And I don't tighten it all the way, just enough to get it on there and hold it a little bit because I like to twist the hose so I can take the kinks out of it if there is any. Go ahead and get this up here. Snug it a little, and then I'll just turn the hose, kind of just get it where it takes all the kinks out, and go ahead and lock those down. And that is that step there. Um, we'll go ahead and get this thing set up to uh, run next. Okay, now that we've got everything set up, what we're going to do is go ahead and run it. 
Now, when you're, obviously this is a propane unit, so if you wanted to hook your propane up, you would hook it up to your unit here, okay? Um, and then you would switch this to the propane side. If this ever failed on you and you couldn't use this, and you wanted to still use our propane system, um, you would just run this on the gas side. And the reason for being that is if you switched over to the propane side, that opens up the valve for the regulator back here and allows for a vacuum leak on the carburetor. So you have to have this switched over to the gasoline side when you're running your alternative fuel and make sure that your gasoline cockpit is in an off position here, okay? Now we've got this one set up for propane right now. Um, for the natural gas, basically you would just remove this set up here and run your natural gas right to it. So let's go ahead. We've already got everything preset for it. We have our fuel on. Now this has a real nice switch on it where you just hit the button and it automatically cranks as you walk in. Hit the button. Okay, just hit that again there. Almost. It'll see if it should kick it once. Now that is with your idle control on. That gives you our conversion kit on the Duramax XP13000EH. This also covers the X models too. So um, this kit here, if you're interested in purchasing it, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we can be reached at 734-992-2648. Thank you much for watching this video. I hope it helps out a lot. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you.